tree. I will trust in you, Lord, let me not be ashamed. You are my light and my salvation, healing brain. You're the strength of my life. Hi there, welcome to Dish with Trish and welcome to my kitchen. Today I thought I'd show you how to make a chicken pot pie for a request that I had. And this and pot pie is going to be gluten free. So I hope you find this recipe easy to make. So let's get started. First thing we'll get out of the way are the ingredients we'll be using. Diced up. We'll be using a couple cups of diced up potatoes, which I have right here. And I've thrown these into the microwave for about five minutes on high just to take the crunch off them and get them ready to go. We'll also be using are some mixed vegetables. Right there they are, and they're just steaming a little bit, and I wanted to also take the crunch off of those. I also have some diced up carrots here, some diced up onion, a couple cups of carrots, half a cup of onion, and I also have my cooked up chicken that I've also chopped up into nice little bite-sized pieces. Next we'll go on and talk about our spices. We have one teaspoon of salt here that we'll be adding. We have a tablespoon of parsley. We have one teaspoon of thyme. We'll be adding one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then we'll also be using one bay leaf, which I have right here. And what I really like about chicken broth is that after you've cooked a chicken for various reasons, you can save your broth and freeze it. And that's what I do. Once you take your chicken broth out of the freezer, what's going to happen is you'll see all this white fat on um, the Ziploc bag that you have it in and you can just basically scrape that right off the chicken broth and it's perfect it'll all of a sudden become basically about 99 percent fat free and it's great for any recipe plus you've also utilized your chicken broth you've not spent any money on it and we're going to add about a tablespoon of our extra virgin olive oil pop that in there it goes Those are carrots, our onion, and um, you can just throw all these in here. You don't have to worry about putting them in little sections or anything. Just pop them all right in your saute pan there. So now we'll add in our potatoes, and we will make a little area for those to go in. We'll add some salt just to the pan, about a half a teaspoon. And then we'll also add the lid on, and we'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Here we are. We're back in the kitchen. Our veggies are sautéing, and I think that they look pretty good. Our chicken uh, that's diced up is also ready to go. Just take some olive oil cooking spray and spray a 9 by 13 inch dish. And what we'll do next is add in all of our vegetables. Pop that right in here. Right in. Take our lid off of our mixed veggies. Throw those in. Just like that. This is a very simple recipe as you can see here. It's not real difficult. We're going to throw in our spices, which I have right here. Generously spread our salt out over our veggies. Looks like a lot, but you need a lot. We'll add in our parsley. And then we have some thyme, bread in, and then we have some garlic. This is a minced garlic that um, is from a jar, but you're welcome to also use the fresh garlic if you'd like. And then last but not least, we'll throw in our bay leaf, and I'll just pop that right there in the center. And we'll add in our broth. And that's our one cup of chicken broth that I was telling you about earlier. Take a nice little spoon, and we'll just stir this around a bit. And a blend of flour that has some milk and eggs in it and combine that all up and just pour that right over the top. And what you can use is Bisquick if you don't want to use gluten-free flour. So right here's my flour. I've added a third cup of brown rice flour, a third cup of my potato starch. I've added some corn starch, baking powder, xanthan gum. We have in this bowl one cup of milk, two eggs, and then to that we're going to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Pop that right in. Stir this up real well and once we get this stirred up we're going to pop this right on top of our veggies and then place this in our oven. And we have our oven preheated at 400 degrees. 
and we'll be cooking this for approximately 20 minutes. Okay, here we are. Our gluten-free chicken pot pie is all done. Now this doesn't look like the normal pot pie. We have this in an eight and a half by 13 inch glass baking also dish. Taking our flour mixture of gluten-free flours that consisted of also milk, eggs, and some vinegar. And we've just topped that on top of our veggies. So this does look a little different than what you're used to, but it does look really good, and we are gonna try it out right now. We have our thyme and our garlic, onion, um, bay leaf flavor in here. Lots of these flavors are all mixing together to make this taste really scrumptious. Mm. Mm. This is really good. I will trust in you, Lord, let me not be ashamed. You are my light and my salvation, healing rain. You're the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid?